What's good, everybody? It's your boy G New from New Tech Productions and host of the Oddcast podcast. This next episode, episode eight, was filmed before the COVID happened. And uh, since filming this episode, we've lost a few more hip hop heroes since then. So I, first of all, I just want to give a rest in peace to Pop Smoke. I want to give a rest in peace to Fred the Godson. And I also want to give a rest in peace to Andre Harrell, who was the uh, CEO of Uptown MCA Records, who uh, started the careers of people like Mary J. Blige, Joe to see with Abby Shore. Um, he was Puffy's mentor, you know, just to name a few. So uh, rest in peace to Andre Harrell, and rest in peace to all the fallen hip hop heroes that we have lost, and uh, we are missing their music, missing their presence in the game. This next episode is dedicated to y'all. But those who are with me watching, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell so you'll get a notification every time I post a video. Don't know when I'm gonna post videos, but I do post videos every now and then. So you know what I mean? I'm working on that, I'm trying to get better at that, man. So, And uh, like I said, everybody stay safe, wear your mask, stay home, and um, peace, y'all, and enjoy this next episode, man, episode eight. Fallen Hip Hop Hero. Shout out to Black Hurricane and shout out to my man Ty Lynn, Ty Nitty. Salute. All right. Peace, y'all. Peace. What's good, everybody? This your boy Gary Gnu, and welcome to episode eight of the iCast podcast. Uh, before we start, I also want to give a shout out to my man, Black Hurricane, who's not, not with us today, but uh, he'll be back next episode, you know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Tyler, back there on the camera, you know what I mean? Today's episode, everybody, um, this was something that me and uh, Tyler have been uh, going back and forth about, but today's episode, we're going to talk about our uh, deceased MCs, you know what I mean? Our, uh, our top, uh, not our top five, but you know. Just uh, the rappers who uh, are not with us anymore, but um, still uh, drop albums after they die and uh, continue to uh, make a mark in the game. And also uh, uh, rappers in the game that have died and um, and took away from the game. Meaning, uh, like when they died, uh, it really hurt the group, or uh, it really, it really, uh, you really miss their miss their music that have passed away. And uh, they they were able to put up put out some pretty good albums, put out some pretty good music. That's uh, that still stayed uh, with the brand and stayed true to their original sound and shit. So um, basically, uh, that's what today's show is going to be about. I uh, also want to give a shout out to a couple of podcasts that um, that I fuck with. First of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, Apartment Five B podcast, my man Kill and the gang, everybody over there. Um, also, uh, another podcast I fuck with is uh, the Godcast, Lord Jamal, Rod Digger, Godfrey, um, and also it's another podcast I fuck with. It's a sneaker podcast called uh, Full Size Run. Um, uh, Trinidad James uh, uh, does that podcast and shit. So that's just a few podcasts I wanted to uh, give a shout out to because those are guys that um, you know I get I draw inspiration from those podcasts and shit, man. It made me uh, make me want to do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So uh, without further ado. Uh, you know, let's get uh, started. Also, I uh, wanna wanna highlight the uh, the fearless ones over there in the corner. You know what I mean? Um, I cop those. You know what I mean? They came out maybe two weeks ago, but uh, it was either those or the uh, shattered backboard 3.0s. You know what I mean? I still might get the shattered backboards, but um, yeah, I saw those and it was kind of uh, I kind of uh, didn't really mean to get them. I was on the uh, on the Nike app and. Uh, Messing around, um, cause I tried to get the shattered backboards off the uh, sneakers app, and um, I didn't get them. But this time when I tried for the fearless uh, ones, uh, I hit the button, you know what I mean, and um, and it took a little while. Said it was pending, it was pending, and then next thing you know, boom, it said you got them. I was like, oh shit, okay. That was a. Uh, it wasn't the first, but that was the first time it happened in a while. You know what I mean? Usually, uh, you know, sneakers be going pretty pretty quickly, man. You know what I mean? So I was pretty excited to uh, to get those and. Um, Add them, to the, add them to the collection and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, you was going to say something? You got on your feet. Oh, right now, shit on my feet, man. I got on the uh, the Aqua 8s, man. They were uh, 
uh, these were released uh, maybe 2014 or 2015. I can't I can't remember, but um, yeah, man, I just decided to uh, just pull them out and just rock them today. You know what I mean? Just give them give them some wear, give them some run. You know what I mean? That's the vibes for the day. You know. But uh, yeah, man, uh, we gonna take a little break real quick and come back with the with the meat and potatoes and shit real quick. You know what I mean? So we holler back at y'all, man. And one. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to episode eight of the iCast podcast. I'm your host, G New. Pretty much from the golden age of uh, hip hop. Uh, we're not going to really go into uh, uh, guys that died in, 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 the, in the new millennial uh, era. You know what I mean? We're just going to talk about strictly golden era guys. So um, I'm just going to run down my list of uh, of MCs who are not with us, and if I forget anybody, you know what I mean, Ty Nitty just uh, just jump in and shit. But uh, you know, uh, my list goes as follows: Tupac, Biggie, Big L, Guru, Freaky Ty, ODB, Jam Master J, MC Breed. Kid Hood, Sean P, Prodigy, Fife Dog, Big Pun, Heavy D, Buffy, the Human Beatbox, Jay Dilla, Scott LaRock, Easy E, Proof. Paul C. Half a Mill. Soldier Slim. Stack Bundles. Sub Rock. Mac Dre. Badass. Badass. Left Eye. Lisa Left Eye Lopez. MC Trouble. MC Trouble. Trouble T Roy. Trouble T Roy. A lot of names, a lot of names on the list, man. And um, you know, we miss we miss all those guys, man. You know what I mean? So rest in peace to all the rappers that um that I named in my list. And if I forgot anybody, just drop a comment. Uh, you know, drop a comment down there and let me know, uh let me know if anybody was missed, you know what I mean? But um now on that list, uh I wanna talk about because there's a couple there's a couple names on there that um, I put stars next to because uh, I felt that I felt that uh, when they died, these guys like the game, the game shifted, like the game changed, uh, not only for the group but for uh, the game itself. So there's a couple of guys on here, um, and uh, Tyler, you can chime in too. But uh, yeah, uh, guys that you know when they died, they really like they really fucked the group up. So um, it's not any any particular order. I think one of the first names that I want to say uh, on this list is uh, Jam Master J. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to Jam Master J. Jam Master J uh, was the DJ for uh, Run DMC. He was a pinnacle uh, part of the group, um, and uh, he was murdered actually. Um, and to this day, I don't I don't believe that uh, his murder has been solved. But um, Jam Master J was um, his death. Uh, really kind of caused the death of Run DMC. Uh, you know, Run became a reverend. Uh, DMC uh, is still doing hip-hop related things, but I don't think either one is uh, recording right now. And, e and even if they wanted to record or, or go on tour or something like that, I'm sure uh, it wouldn't be the same without Jam Master J. So um, he's one of the first guys that I wanted to mention that uh, not only did he pass, but when he passed, um, it really just, it kind of just messed, it kind of just, kind of screwed things up, uh, you know, for, for the group, you know, for the group's sake, you know what I mean? Uh, next on my list, um, I want to say is uh, ODB, rest in peace to uh, Old Dirty Bastard. Um, he's another guy that when um, when ODB passed, um, you know, the Wu-Tang Clan, as strong as they are, um, still, they're still eight, eight members strong, but um, I just feel like their whole sound, their whole dynamic uh, changed uh, after the passing of Old Dirty Bastard. It's just um, music that they've come out with after. And they still, you know, RZA still tries to uh, infuse his, you know, his voice and little uh, snippets of his verses and things like that and, and into music that they record today. But, uh, you know, 
I just feel that when he died, he was somebody that uh, he really did that really that really hurt the uh, the, the the group overall. Um, another MC that I feel um, that when he went uh, when he passed away, um, really really kind of uh, made an impact was was Sean P. Sean Price from uh, Helter Skelter from um, Duck Down Records. You know what I mean? Uh, he started out with the group. And he was kind of a dude that was um, kind of in the background at first. Um, but then as time went on, um, you know, he kind of just, he became the mouthpiece of Duck Down. Like he saved, um, and it, it's even on record that uh, Buckshot has said himself that Sean P saved Duck Down, you know. So when he passed, it was like, wow, you know, it was unexpected. It wasn't like he was sick or something, you know what I mean, that, that I knew of. So, um... Yeah, when he passed away, I know that that really impacted uh, it impacted the group, you know, uh, because he was such a strong force and such a strong presence in that clique, you know, um, lyrically and um, you know just behind the scenes, you know what I mean? You could tell that he was like they look up, they looked up to him, and he was like a, a leader. So um, yeah, anybody uh, that you wanted to, that that you, that you thought, Ty? Where you at with that? I think uh, some village took a major hit too. They had the death of uh, Jay Dilla. Jay and, Dilla. Uh, what's the other guy named? Baton. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So they had two people die in their group. So that that they they made a couple albums after both of them passed away. But they, they yeah, because they also bought in um, uh, Elza. Yeah. They bought him in. Um, yeah, that was a group that kind of yeah they did. And also, I think, I think, not just, not just when JD. I mean, he he's another guy too on my list too. But when he died, he also impacted a lot of other groups because remember he was producer for Common, he was producer for Buster. That whole his whole camp in there, that whole camp suffered. Badu, Most Deaf, they all suffered yeah. when uh, when Jay Dilla passed. So it wasn't just uh, you know Slum Village that uh, suffered a loss, you know what I mean? Just all those guys were affected because um, his production was so ill, it was so good that, um, and he's a guy that you, you know, when, when, when you heard his music, you knew it was him. You knew it was, you knew it was Dilla on those tracks. So him passing, that really, uh, that really, that really messed up the group. Um, another guy um, that doesn't really get a lot of mention today, but uh, Freaky Todd from the Lost Boys, you know? Uh, Freaky Ty, uh, if you don't know, that's uh, that was that was Mr. Cheek's brother from the Lost Boys, and he was like the hype man. And um, with him, you know, uh, when he passed away, uh, it was tragic too. He had a tragic death. Um, you know, when he passed, that really hurt the group because um, all those albums that that came out after that, um, they just you, you could just tell they were missing something. You know what I mean? Like, what did they? Uh, what was that? Love, peace, and nappiness. That came out after their uh, that was their second album. Or yeah, no? I think I think he died after the third album or before the third album. Right, so, something like that. And um, man, it, it was it was kind of sad to see uh, to see how that how that really impacted that group, man. Because um, like I said, Free Ty was the hype man. He was that he was that voice that 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 was backing up Mr. Cheeks. You know what I mean? The fact that they was. Brothers, they just had this chemistry that that worked on. Uh, it, it 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 was it worked on on wax and and on the vid in the videos and stuff. Their chemistry like it was crazy. Like they would they had dance moves that they would do together and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I um, hear I hear Freaky Todd was really like important in the streets of Queens. Like he wasn't just the hype man. He was mm -hmm. he's the reason why they got a lot of respect. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. So yeah, I've heard that too. I heard he was, I heard he was an official cat, official cat in the streets. You know what I mean? Peace was good, y'all. So we're back on the iCast podcast episode eight. So um, before we broke, or before we took a break, uh, we were talking about um, uh, Mr. Cheeks. I'm sorry, not Mr. Cheeks. Well, Mr. Cheeks, but Freaky Top from the Lost Boys. Um, how his death, um, how his death impacted uh, not only the group, but it also in impacted. Uh, uh, the community in uh, Queens because uh, because he was he was also known as a goon. You know what I mean, right? 
Yeah, I mean, 50, 50 had a line on the song where he dissed Mr. Cheeks. I oh. think it was Royal Flush said that never would have happened if uh, Freaky Ty was around, like 50 Ty got a lot of respect in the streets. Yeah, what was the, um, what was the line that he said? He said something about the lunat the Lost Boys are lunatics. Mr. Cheek shit is whack now, something like oh, that. Okay, okay, yeah. So I'm, I remember the line. I remember the song, but um, but uh, yeah, man. So definitely, man. Uh, Mr. Uh, Freaky Ty's death impacted uh, impacted the group sound. You know, same way um, Five Dog from Child Called Quest. You know what I mean? He's another guy. Rest in peace to Five Dog. Um, you know, uh, Five Dog was not only uh, a, a, a pivotal part of Trial Called Quest, but the the other the uh, the other thing about uh, Five Dog was that he uh, also battled uh, diabetes, and um, it was a sickness that um, that he fought uh, the whole the whole span of his career, and he and he also shared it, uh, and and you know, in little bars here and there. Uh, on his on his uh, songs and shit like that, he had the one line in his song where he said he's the funky diabetic, you know what I mean. So, uh, but yeah, Five Dog, man, rest in peace to Five Dog. When he died, he died while uh, in the middle of them recording uh, their last album that came out in uh, 2016. Um, Thank you for your service, and um, yeah, it, it it was good to hear them, you know, get back together. But it was also bittersweet because, like I said, in the, in, in the process of them recording that album. Uh, Five Dog did uh, succumb to his uh, to his illness, you know what I mean. So uh, rest in peace to Five Dog. And um, but like I said, I don't know um, if if they're gonna do any uh, posthumous albums. Uh, you know, put out any unreleased Five Dog material. Have you heard anything about that? Try I think that it? half of that was it. I mean, some of the songs he actually did with the group, and some of them they just. Dug up some of his verses. And oh put yeah. Them on. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I think that's the last tribe album we're gonna get. Man, don't say that, man. That hurts. That's what they said. That's man. Who's uh, uh, the group themselves? Yeah, Q-Tip. Oh, okay. Okay. You know that's tribe is one of my favorite groups, and Q-Tip is one of my favorite uh, producers, man. So, um, but but losing but losing him, uh, you know, knowing his history, knowing how he fought that, uh, you know, fought that fought diabetes and all of that. Um, you know he was a warrior, man. But uh, you know it was it was just sad. You know that that kind of hurt, man. You know when uh, because you'll never you'll never get that back. And also the fact that the group fought a lot. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. If if, if they would have just focused more on just making music instead of like you know the fighting and the uh, the separations and all that kind of stuff because uh, that's gaps in between. That's gaps in between recording, man. Uh, the, um, you know moving on to the next uh, guru. You know, from Gangstar, you know, he, uh, you know, they just dropped the album, uh, one of the best yet. And, um, you know, when he died, uh, he died in 2010. I know what if, you know, there's no more Gangstar. You have Guru and Premier, you know I mean? There's no, there's no replacing, uh, the Guru, but, uh, that was another group where, uh, they had a lot of arguments and they had a lot of, uh, disagreements and things like that. I think, you know, it's, it's even on record of, of Premier saying that. They actually fought each other, you know, fist fight, you know, threw blows at each other. So, um, you know, when you hear things like that, it's like, yeah, I know, you know, guys, uh, you know, can't get along and shit like that. But uh, at the same time, like, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of music was uh, was probably not made because of uh, because of their separation. You know what I mean? Where it could have been. I know, I guess if things could have worked out, we, we could probably could have got more material from uh so we think about that. Yeah, Guru, he also had a, a very uh, long solo career. Like, he yeah. had a couple albums. Those Jazz, Jazz Batas. He, he got a few of those. Yeah, I mean, he, he had those albums with, uh, with DJ Solar or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I heard they was all right. So. The first couple joints I uh, I was into, uh, you know, I, he even dropped some after the 2000s. I didn't really um, get a chance to. To listen to those, but yeah, you know, Guru had a had a had a he had a good run. Yeah, he had a compilation called the Ballhead Slick. Okay, Ballhead Slick. That was his uh, other name that he would call himself. You know what I mean? Sure, indeed, man. Uh, uh, also, uh, you know, to uh, to move along, uh, Big Pun. 
the pun was a, was a, was a big. He made a big splash in rap, and um, you know when he died, uh, you know we didn't really see it coming. Or well, we we kind of saw it coming because uh, you know uh, he 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 battled with uh, obesity, so uh, you know because if if you if you if you look in the archives, you see that there is photos on the internet of pun when he was just a regular regular sized person. You know what I mean? When he had the when he had the suit on and all that in the briefcase. Everybody knows that that famous song. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, we've seen it coming because it's always been a a big guy in hip hop. Was it whether it was Heavy D? Yeah, yeah, AD, true. Chub Rock. But he was probably one of the biggest. He looked like yeah. when he when he finally passed, he was huge, man. Yeah, you know, he died of a heart attack. You yeah. know what I mean? But uh, when he died, man, that that definitely made an impact on uh, his on his crew, Terror Squad. Um, you know, I know he wrote a lot of, uh, you know, he, he wrote for Fat Joe and, and things of that nature. He kept the crew tight. So, um, you know, uh, when he died, man, I know that definitely, um, that definitely hurt the group, man. Definitely hurt the group. Rest in peace to, uh, rest in peace to Big Pun, you know. Um, uh, speaking of Heavy D, you know what I mean? Heavy D is another guy, like you said, carrying on a tradition of big guys. Uh, Heavy D, um, you know, he passed. Uh, it was kind of it was kind of strange, um, his passing, right? He uh, he had some kind of walking pneumonia when he came back from uh, from overseas or something like that. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah. But um, when he passed, uh, it was sad. You know, he had already made a splash in uh, in hip hop uh, when it happened. You know, but Bob, at the time of his passing, he was already in the acting. And all that kind of stuff. So um, he kind of took a pause with his with his music stuff. Yeah, well, he was doing reggae too. I think he had made a, a big comeback doing reggae music. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, That's he was producing up. too. He uh, he did a track on uh on Nas Nas last album, Life Is Good. Not yes, he did. Album, yes, he did. He did do a track on uh, Nas's uh, Nas's album. Um, Life is good. Oh, what was the name of that joint? In a New York City, something like that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, Heavy D. Speaking of Heavy D, his dancer, Trouble T. Roy. Remember, remember when T. Roy died? That that also that affected the group because he was minus a dancer now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the other guys, uh, G. Wiz. Um, that definitely hurt the that definitely hurt the group when um, when Trouble T. Roy passed and uh, Trouble T. Roy. Is the guy that uh, Pete Rock and CL Smooth named that song? They reminisce over you. That's uh, that was dedicated to uh, Trouble T. Roy. If, if for those that don't know, yeah, classic song. Yeah, classic song to this day. Um, you know, so when he died, that definitely made an impact on uh, on those guys. You know, because uh, you know those guys were like family. You know, so rest in peace to Trouble T. Roy and Heavy D. You know what I mean? So moving on, um, another guy. Uh, rest in peace, uh, the prodigy, prodigy from Mob Deep. Um, you know, he was another one that we knew that uh, uh, he battled with sickle cell, and um, that was something that he always talked about. He was very transparent with um, talking about his uh, how he how he uh, fought that disease. Um, uh, he was always in and out of the hospital. Um, he was always you know he was always fighting. And he was always sick, but he also managed to be one of the one of the greatest. Uh, MC, he's definitely a GOAT MC, you know what I mean? Definitely a GOAT. Now, he's not the GOAT, but he is a GOAT MC. And uh, his passing, uh, you know, he's he's one half of Mob Deep. So uh, when he passed, you know, we won't, we unfortunately, we won't get any more uh, Mob Deep uh, music, you know? I don't know if uh, Havoc, I'm sure Havoc has verses, um, you know, that he could put out. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he, he's made any... Um, uh, Mob Deep albums uh, since since he's passed. Do, do you do you no, know? No, no. I heard that it might be one of the pipeline, but don't, mm -hmm. don't quote me on that. It, it, it should. I mean, you know, I would I wouldn't blame I wouldn't blame Havoc. I wouldn't be mad. You know, as long as you do it right. As long as you do it right. You know, and, and I'm sure it, I'm sure it, I'm sure it'll come out tight. You know what I mean? He's another one who had a pretty good solo career too. The yeah, H -N -I -C he, series. Yeah. So uh, uh, when he with him passing, not not only did it affect the group. It affected the game, you know. P not around to spit them, to spit those bars that you know that you want to hear from from P. He was a solid MC, yeah. and um, he was a guy that you know 
that if P if P is on this, you know you know it's gonna be murder. You know it's gonna be a problem. You yeah, know what I mean? He had a lot of problem with a lot of other rappers. Mm-hmm. Jay, Nas, Pac. He definitely had his had his had his run-ins with beef. Yeah. Had his beef with cats. You know what I mean? So um, anybody else that you can think of, man, that when they, you know, oh, I, I know a, a, a guy that uh, we didn't talk about, Nate Dogg. Yeah. Nate Dogg, man, you know, when he passed, he uh, he definitely, you know, that, that sound was missing. Hook master. He, on the hooks, man, definitely changed, he definitely changed, because uh, he, psh, Nate Dogg had a run in the 90s. He was the hook man. He made, he made Regulate, you know what I mean? Regulate wouldn't be regulate without Nate Dogg, man. A lot of their songs wouldn't be what it is. Uh, it ain't no fun. Come on, son. Without Nate Dogg. So, um, you know, him passing, man, definitely made an impact, man, because uh, he was uh, his contribution was huge yeah. uh, to, to his group, to his clique. To the world, to the whole rap community. Yeah, to the he whole, was doing yeah, to hooks whole, for everybody. You yeah. Know. Fab. You know. Jada. Everybody. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, anybody else you can think of, man? I'm going to say... Talking about guys that, you know, not just guys that passed away, but we're talking about guys who, who when they when they pass, it, it, it really hurt the group. The group just didn't, it just didn't sound the same no more, man. I'm going to say Pimp C. Pimp C from UGK? Yeah, Pimp C. Yeah. Pimp C was half of uh, UGK. Uh, Bum B uh, was the, uh, it was the other. Um, group member, um, yeah, he's very loud, outspoken. Uh, you know, he's like the fire of the group. Bob B was the lyricist. He was like the fire of the group. I mean, right. he, say a lot about Pimp C. Pimp C, he's the truth. Yeah, truth I fuck. I fuck with Pimp C. I fuck with Pimp C, man. He had he had some solo albums too. Yeah, he had solo joints. Fatty, uh. Boosie Badass and Webby, they was they was part of his label. He put them out. Okay, okay. So I know. didn't know that. I didn't know that. So see, once again, you know him passing that hurt that hurt the group. You know what I mean? Uh, another guy, Easy E. Easy E passed away. You know, um, at the time, uh, N.W.A. wasn't uh, they weren't together. But I'm sure that uh, you know, 20 years later, man, whatever beef that guys had, uh, you know. They should be able to squash that, man. You know what I mean? And I'm sure that uh, they would have got back together. Because they were talking about it. I, I believe there was talk of them uh, talk, trying to get back together and, and, and record again when um, when, e when Easy got sick, right? Yeah. And, and he was um, he put out Bone Thug. Yeah. That's probably one of the reasons they put out the Crossroads. Yeah. 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 So he definitely made it... Um, Contribution, uh, you know, with, with the group N.W.A. and also uh, with Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Those guys, um, they was big when they came out, man. Crossroads and all that. Um, Thug is Rugged Bone. Yeah. Uh, some of those dudes had solo careers. You know what I mean? Busy Bone, Crazy Bone. You know what I mean? Um, who else, man? DJ Screw. He wasn't a rapper, but he... he uh. It sounds real big in Texas, down south, the little screw. Chopping the screw sound? Yeah. Screw, uh, okay. Music that you listen to off that lane? I don't, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't mess with yeah. that lane. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. think his sound was super big out in the East Coast, but, uh -huh. you know, I know down south, maybe Midwest, uh -huh. you know, I had a cousin that was like, you don't know who DJ Screw is? I'm like, nah. He's like, oh, man. But you know he had a whole bunch. He had a little flip. He had a whole bunch of the the chopping screw click. I forget the name, but he had a whole okay. bunch of those rappers. Paul yeah. Ball, all yeah. that yeah. on that. True. Okay. Mike Jones. Yeah, Chameleon here, all of them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. I kind of, I kind of knew that, but kind of, kind of forgot at the same time and yeah. shit. But yeah, I remember, I remember uh, that clip. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, man. So uh. If you can't think of anybody, you know, we can take a little break, man, and come back. You know what I mean? What you think? Uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, y'all. We're going to take a break, y'all. Oddcast Podcast. Peace. Everybody, welcome back to the Oddcast Podcast episode. Eight. And uh, off the camera, me and Tyler were talking about um, rappers that died in um, 
and beef. So rappers that were uh, that were gunned down uh, in the streets. Um, I don't want to say senselessly, but yeah, it was was senselessly. You know what I mean? We were talking about guys like Big L. Uh, you know who who was murdered. Uh, Freaky Ty uh, was murdered. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, uh, we all know Pac and Biggie. You know what I mean? Uh, and the beef that they had. Um, they were they were probably uh, probably the probably probably the most well known beef. Uh, I would say out of out of out of all the beefs in hip hop, right? Would you yeah, agree? Yeah, definitely. That ended most, up in violence. Most notable beef, um, and it's still going on today. You know what I mean? Uh, we was just talking about Nipsey. Nipsey was how he was gunned down. Um, uh, XX Tentacion, right? Yeah, gunned down. You know what I mean? Um, you know, a lot of rappers getting getting shot up, and and you know they say it's dangerous to be a rapper today, man. You know what I mean? Just period. You know what I mean? Rappers yeah. is like targets. You know? Yeah, Mac Dre got killed. I already got kidnapped and they they did something to him, but Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Of course proof. Proof got yeah, he got he was in a gun gun fight. Jam Master J Jam Master J another one. Uh gunned down, still haven't solved his murder. You know what I mean? So it's crazy, man. Fifty Cent, you know what I mean? But he was, uh, you know, that's what that was kind of the thing that that made him blow up. You know, what I mean, getting uh, him getting shot nine, nine times and, and and living. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you know uh, I, mean? I think Lloyd Banks got shot and his crew. Young Buck got shot and his crew. Yeah. Yeah. ODB got shot. Uh, ODB did he get got shot. Yeah. He, he ran into somebody's house or something. They saved him. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shit, crazy out here. Crazy out here. So, uh, you know, niggas be needing security and shit. They laugh at niggas when they got security. Or, you know what I mean? It's, that's like something frowned upon in, in the game, I guess. Depending on how big you are. Me, personally, I would rather be a guy that still can be able to go to the store. You know what I mean? And, and be regular and, and not, you know, have everybody running up on me and all that kind of shit. Yeah, but it's crazy. Like other music genres, you don't see their artists getting murdered or shot. Yeah. Like it you happens. You only kind of see that in hip hop. Yeah. Even Cameron got shot a couple uh, right? about ten years ago. Yeah, like you know, it happens a lot. But, uh, country music and 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 uh, R and B, well, R and B, yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, what other genres are there, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's I mean, like, man, only, only, only hip-hop person, is so big and shit. What else is there? The only person I know that got shot as an artist, a music artist, uh -huh. was John Lennon. Right. Yeah, but everybody else, you know, I mean... Marvin Gaye? Yeah, well, that was... Yeah, he got shot, but he got shot so, by his father. His own father shot him. Yeah, but, you know, that wasn't really... I guess it, it was a... It was family beef, not street beef. Yeah, no. Or not a crazy beef. fan that wanted to test them. Right, right. But, you know, died by the hand of a gun. You yeah. Know, still. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, Stax Bundles got shot. King Drug got shot. They was in the same crew. Right. A lot of rappers that just that's perished senselessly. A lot of, um. Going too soon kind of, kind of thing. Yeah. With a lot of those guys, man. Die in their own hoods. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. Big you know Snoop. I mean? Not Big Snoop. Little Snoop. He was a Meek Mill's artist. He, he okay. got gunned down. I remember DJ Quick, one of his artists a while back, got, got, got murdered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember him talking about it on his, in his documentary. Definitely yeah. remember that. Yeah, I remember Luke, Little Boosie was telling forget what artist he was telling, but he was saying that, you know, you get big, get out your hood. You need to mm -hmm. move away, far away, go somewhere else to live because there'll probably be somebody in your own community that do you in. Yep. That's true. That's true. That's how Nick went out. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad because hip-hop sells this, this whole picture. Once you get on, you get rich, and you don't have to live in the street you don't have to go in the street you're not in danger but mm -hmm. in reality a lot of rappers you know it takes time before they get their money if they get their money mm -hmm. so they you know they're on the streets they're in the streets they're yep. in the wrong way 
Yeah. And, you know, a lot of these street niggas don't know that they don't really have the money they rapping about. So they want it. And, you know, a lot of times it just ends up with violence and death. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times the streets will come to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of rap guys, um, didn't didn't even didn't get locked up and all that kind of shit until they until they became a rapper. You know what I mean? Niggas ain't had no record before, uh before they got famous, you know what I'm saying? Now now they famous. They, you know, growing up they was a good kid, but now they in the rap game, now they getting locked up and you know what I mean, getting getting gun charges and you know what I'm saying? It's kinda crazy. Yeah. You know. What you think about this uh this Popeye chicken sandwich situation, though, that's going on, though, man. I mean, you know. Why is, crazy. You know, why, crazy. Why, why, why is this shit, like, it, it's still a thing, man. Like, the shit went out of production, man, and, and, and the shit sold out, supposedly, and now the shit is back, and motherfuckers are still back at it, going crazy. I, I, don't, see, I don't know if the shit was real or not, but I saw a picture of a Popeye's that had now. They got bulletproof glass. Bulletproof windows at the register, B. Because, because of the incidents that have gone down because of this chicken sandwich, of people fighting and shooting and stabbing each other over a damn chicken sandwich, man. American love their chicken. I get that, man. But like, and then you know when I I never had a chicken sandwich myself, but um, you said you've had it a few times. Yeah. And what can you say about the taste of the chicken? Is the shit did the shit make you want to stab somebody to get it when you were in line? No, I had my vest on though. Well, you had your vest on. <laughs> I'm sure you did. But so, how, but how did it go down, man? You was able to the, the first run or the, or this this new run that they got going. Added on both runs. Okay, but the first time you went, what 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 went down and shit when you went to get your sandwich? I mean, I, I found one that didn't have a line. It was like in the on the highway, mm -hmm. Route 73. So I went there and they had like a whole bunch of pre-made chicken sandwich ready, and you know. Wasn't a line like maybe five people. We mm -hmm. got those sandwiches. Everybody was happy. All right. But you know, I was, I was rolled by a couple Popeyes and big lines when uh -huh. they got signs that said they no more sandwiches. It was, it was crazy. You ain't seen no rockets, no no riots and no shit like that. Nah, no, I ain't no, seen no, 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 ain't no seen nothing like nah, that. But damn, nah. this shit is crazy now. My coworker had one. I know people that had them, and you know they they're saying it ain't all that. They say, did you see the, the meme that that Boosie had about the shit? Nah, I didn't see that. Oh, you gotta check that out, man. He was, that, yeah, that shit was funny, man. Um, but yeah, man, I haven't had this shit yet, man. But I'm like, yo, people going crazy for this fucking sandwich, man. And you know, uh, you know what's more crazy? What's that? I heard more about the chicken sandwich and badass and a dog pound dying. Right. Yeah, like yeah. he told me. I didn't hear it from any right. hip hop outlet or anything. Yeah, I, I told you that he died. Yeah, he talking about badass. Yeah, you know, R.I.P. Yeah. badass. He, got, uh, he died in jail, and uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. I was talking about before, you know, a lot of people think rappers got a lot of money, but a lot of times they don't. They sign their own deal. You know how it is. And, you yeah. know, they, they got to resort to crime. To, to try to live close to the lifestyle they used to live in. Or or try to match the rap the, the style of the, that they rapping about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh big up to him. Big up to him. But yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you know, uh in the meantime, you know, I guess uh that wraps it up for uh Episode 8 of the iCast podcast. One, one last thing. What's that? What's that, son? Give me your top three. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Cut that. Cut that. Um, we're going to talk about rappers that drop albums after they die. Is that what you was, was, yeah, was going to say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Posthumous albums. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Biggie had a few. Biggie had a few, right? Yeah. Life at, well, Life After Death came out after he died. Yeah, yeah, but and we know how that you know how that blew. But uh, but the ones that came out after, yeah. What was your top three, B, of any rapper that died? I never really um, I never really put him in a category like that. But um, I would definitely put that this new Gangstar one in there. You know what I mean? If, if that's fair, uh, Gangstar's joint. Um, uh. 
I don't know. I don't know. If I if I had to do one, it would be um, Machiavelli. Yeah. Machiavelli probably be my on my number one slot. Yeah, baby. What what about Big Pun? Yeah, baby. Nah, baby. <laughs> he said, I nah, like Big baby. Pun. It was definitely a big difference from uh, Capital Punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah. It, I'll put this gangster up there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my what about Dirty. One. I don't think he dropped it. I think I know he dropped a uh, a mixtape before he died, mm-hmm. but I don't think he dropped an album after he died. Okay. The Rockefeller kind of they kind of fumbled the ball on that one. Yeah, they did. They did. Okay, I thought I thought I thought he had something out after he. Uh, I I, um, I would say Sean Price third out fourth album. Yeah, Sean Price did drop. Uh, uh, what's that? Songs uh, Rex. in the key of Price. No, no, not color. that one. The one after one. After and, Imperious Rex. Yeah. That was a, woo, that was yeah, a banger. Yeah, that was hot. Right they there. put that, yeah, that's up there. That's up there. Um, you know, to talk about ones that came out. Uh, who else, man? That, that Tribe album. I mean, that's, I mean, he, he, it was, some of it was done after he was dead. It was one song where Q-Tip, Q-Tip was actually rapping the fife, talking about how he's going to hold it down. Yeah. Blah blah blah. So I would, I would put that. Yeah, I would put that there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I never, you know, put him in in a class like that. But Gangstar, Imperious Rex was a good one. And uh, who else would we say? Trap. Yeah. And I, life after death. I mean, he. I think he recorded it all before he died, yeah, but yeah, it came out after yeah. he did. So I guess. Yeah. It's a gray area, but if you want to... No, I would say something that was put together after they died. Like, you know, like, you know that these are joints that they putting together. Yeah, like how Imperious Rex was made, you know what I mean? Yeah. We know that Sean Price had died already some time ago. How about Black Bastard? KMD? Oh, KMD. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Sub he was Rock. alive. I don't know if Sub Rock was alive or not. I think he he might have been alive when the album. But I mean, that wouldn't be a top three though. We he that's not in the, in the well, top we, category. We, I did my I did my three. I'm, I'm trying oh, to now do you five. Want some other shit. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm trying to do like, five right. now. Nah, that wouldn't be in that category though, brother. I think I did write some 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 shit down. Though. Hold on, man. You know. Uh, oh, Big L, the big picture. The big picture? Where yeah. would that go? Yeah, I'll put it up there. That's pretty tight. You know? Jay Dillon is shining. I don't know. I don't remember that album. Easy E? Which one? Straight Off the Streets of Compton? I might not have heard that. Okay. Yeah, so you think that you think it's it's up there, easy? No, I just I'm just throwing I'm just throwing albums that came out after they after cats have died. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think those I think those those pretty much cover it, man. You know? Yeah, I like the Tupac. Uh, Tupac yeah, dropped one of a the bunch of them. Yeah. Um, till the end of time. Yeah, still I ride. Uh huh. Not really a Pop fan like that, but yeah, he played. I don't think nobody put out more albums after they died than Pop. Yeah. Nobody got the record for that shit. You know what I'm saying? He got everybody beat. You know? Um, it's hard, man. You know, it makes you think of, uh, you know, when rappers go and you see that they have a lack of um, material. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Puffy didn't have a lot of verses for, for for Big when when he died. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he gave him a lot a lot of way to Mr. C's, right? Yeah, I I don't know the story, but he ain't really we don't really have a lot of fresh verses un, unheard uh, verses from Big Yes out there, man. Yeah, I think he um I remember a Miss I think it was Mr. C's. He had a mixtape and he had a whole bunch of unreleased Biggie songs. This was Biggie was still alive. Mm-hmm. And you know, I guess Puffy didn't anticipate something happening to Big, but right. 
But, I mean, he got like three albums. They made three albums after he died. A lot of recycled verses. Yeah, recycled. Like, that's what that, verse. And that, that's what, to me, that's what kills those albums because I hate when they, when you hear a bunch of recycled verses with, with different beats and different tracks and I'll be like, that kind of kills it for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do, do, you, do you feel, how you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, a lot, lot, lot of those albums, you know, the Force collabos, I don't really feel it. Yeah, because didn't Biggie have a collabo album? Yeah, duet. Um, what, 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 which one was that? The duet albums. I yeah. I forget the name of it. But yeah, that. It's all right. Yeah. But, yeah, we, we heard those verses Yeah. before, so. I think the best song on that album actually didn't even have Biggie on it. It was, uh, it was a Junior Mafia song uh -huh. called Biggie. Yeah, Little C's, um, I think Kim was on it, a couple of the other mm -hmm. dudes. Yeah, you know, Biggie, um, shit, he used to write for, he was, he was the junior mafia, he used to write for Kim, write for C's. So when, you know, him him dying, fucked that group up. Yeah. Fucked them guys up. Kim had Kim had to write or find, a, find some writers or some shit. Well, it made little Kim stronger. Mm -hmm. Little C's put out a, I think his first album was pretty dope. He put out a pretty dope album. The rest of them didn't do anything but yeah. those two. But uh, they put out a couple albums after after Biggie went left too. I think they put out two more albums, two underground albums. Ooh, Junior, Junior Mafia? Mafia? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember them, but... Yeah, it was underground. Same thing with the Outlaws. Be. Outlaws put out a ton of music that, you know, a lot of people don't know, but you know, they, they put out a ton of music. Hmm. They know that, guys. Yeah. Fader Hussein, that's another rapper that died from Jersey. Mm -hmm. Down with Tupac, Outlaw Crew. He died, uh, he, he, he was in a car accident. So, okay. You know. Well, yo, man, rest in peace to all those rappers that we, that we talked about, you know what I mean, that we mentioned. You know what I mean? Um, once again, I'm your host, Gary Gnu, for the Oddcast Podcast. You know what I mean? Shout out to my cameraman, Tylen, and shout out to DJ Black Hurricane. Everybody out there in podcast land, you know what I mean? Peace to y'all. And uh, don't forget to check us out on YouTube, on uh, YouTube, on, I'm sorry, New Tech Presents, the iCast Podcast. Follow us on the gram, at the iCast. Um, follow me on the Instagram, at Mr. Gary Gnu. Follow uh, Hurricane on, at, uh, at DJ Black Hurricane. And uh, yo, don't forget to like us. Drop a comment and uh, and continue supporting, continue watching the side, y'all. So uh, until next time, peace, y'all.